Let's find the straight edge of a part that may be translated or rotated. I have a series of images of the same object here. I'm interested in finding this right side edge, but I'd also like to be able to do this if the part is translated or perhaps rotated or some combination of the two. I'll go back to my primary uh, view of the object right here and then go to machine vision and then find straight edge. I need to define a region of interest for the search. Since I know my part is more or less located in the center, I will confine my search region to the right half of the image. And the red line here indicates that the edge was found successfully. You can generally just go with the default for auto setup. Sometimes you might want to adjust things like the density of your search. That's the gap that shows up right there. So if you'd like to have more search lines, you can do that. You could also adjust things in terms of sensitivity to the edges and so forth. You can also specify the polarity. That is, are you looking for a transition from dark to light or light to dark? You can also seek the very first edge that it bumps into or the best edge that it found in the region of interest. The advanced panel shows you a lot of details about the uh, calculation for the edge. And then under results, in particular, we can look at the angle of the edge that was found. Let me cycle through some of these different presentations of the same object. And in each case, we see that the angle is being correctly calculated. Again, you can also look at the red line to say where that straight edge was found. All of this information is presented in table form, and you can click there to send that information to Excel if you'd like to do some more detailed analysis. And finally, be sure to give the step uh, a name that's descriptive of what you are finding, so that way it's easy for you to make use of this information in subsequent vision script steps.